Hello there, you guys from Memphis, Tennessee, at the beautiful and historic mansion. This is where Elvis Presley lived. This is where he is laid to rest in the meditation garden that's uh, just uh, in the back of the mansion itself. And this is where much of the action takes place in the new movie called Elvis that will open on uh, June the 24th. Yesterday, I talked with the cast of the movie, including our old pal, Mr. Tom Hanks. I was just like obsessed a little bit with the choices that you made mm. in portraying somebody f for whom there is really very little video, uh, very little for yeah. you to have studied to create yeah. Colonel Tom. So how did you do this? There are there are two key pieces that I use over and over, but you're right. There's very, very little bona fide sit-down interview with him. One was an audio tape of an uh, interview he did, protracted interview he did like in 1956. Well, the guy just was asking the most standard question. How come Elvis isn't on TV? And what, how do, what's he been doing spending his money? And do you think he's like sexy like Marilyn Monroe is sexy? Actually, questions about a guy that the interview E, Colonel Tom Parker, knew was going to be one of the greatest artists of the 20th century. And so he's kind of like giving this kind of like primer to this guy of why Elvis isn't on TV anymore for free. You know, it, says, it even says he could go on TV if they want to pay what Elvis is worth. Yeah. And my, my boy is not worth $400 to yeah. be on Scale, you know, Yeah, right? no, he yeah. ain't worth that. Yeah. If they want to pay $10,000, they can have my boy. And then there's another one uh, on the 10th anniversary of Elvis's death on Ted Koppel on Nightline, in which he just lays out, and if you read between the lines, you hear every every beat of the diabolical genius that Colonel Tom Parker The was. diabolical genius, but also sort of in and out of his accent, in and out of some of the mannerisms that you clearly picked up on and uh, brought to life. Well, he was from Holland. Yeah. As, as Baz Luhrmann said the very first time I met him, he wasn't a colonel, he wasn't a Tom, he wasn't even a Parker. <laughs> his, name, his real name was Andreas yeah. Van Kuyk, Yeah. something like that. So there was, there was this... Um, um, the moment of discovery, because uh, uh, I said, look, Baz, no one has bothered with the Colonel Tom Parker angle on this. The, the standard story of Elvis is, we've seen it, you know, the rise to riches yeah. and that he's huge and he makes movies that are dissatisfying. He comes back briefly and then gains a lot of weight, shoots a TV and dies in Las Vegas somewhere. Um, and that, the, the, as, as, uh, as, well, you know, as, as Baz says, the very first lines of this film are going to be <laughs> the Colonel saying, I didn't kill him. And I, as soon as I heard that, I said, this is new turf. I'm in. Yeah. What does the colonel look like, by the way? And then I saw, I said, oh, I'm going to yeah. be in the makeup chair for a while. Yeah. yeah, I've seen this movie a couple of times already. I really like it. I'll tell you much more about it. And coming up after 7 o'clock, we'll talk with the young actor who plays Elvis Presley in this movie, an amazing performance, uh, Austin Butler. So we'll continue. Paul, I am picking up some uh, fantastic Elvis recipes uh, that I'm going to try to recreate uh, in future cooking oh, segments. All so right. stand by for some good Elvis cooking when I come back. All right.